So I came across this little method while I was hunting around on the internet for something else. And it's a way of reclaiming your silver from a um, photographic film. Now, I suppose it might also work for photographs, I'll give that a go later. But if you're like me, you have quite a lot of these things kicking around, and here are some old films that I had. The pictures have since been scanned. So these are the negatives, and I've chopped them up into about one picture sizes. And what you need is a solution of sodium hydroxide. Drain cleaner. Now, it's a one molar up to one and a half molar solution, so it's 40 grams per mole, so it'd be 40 grams in a litre. So there's about 200 millilitres there. So it's one fifth, one fifth of 40, is eight grams of sodium hydroxide. And it's anywhere between eight and 12 grams, so one, one and a half mole solution. Now, it doesn't really matter. And all you do, apparently, is drop your films into your concentrated sodium hydroxide. Now when we add the water to the sodium hydroxide it's um, an exothermic reaction so it gets pretty hot. So you need to watch out for that. So you drop them in there and stir them around for a bit. And that's what I'm going to do and when I've done that I shall get back to you. So a photographic film is basically a layer of acetate or plastic and then it's covered with a layer of gelatin that has um, silver salts in it and then over the gelatin are various dye layers and uh, those dye layers have silver salts in them. So when you add it to the sodium hydroxide and stir it around a bit, let's see if you can actually see this. I don't know if you can see that, yeah there you go. What you can see is that all the coating comes off the, the film, leaving it clear, and you get this kind of silvery precipitate there. Now the reason that's silvery is that's your silver. So the silver just comes straight out of solution. It's right there. How cool is that? So you keep stirring it, and like I said, what will happen is that the um, film will go clear as all the gelatin layers wash off. Your solution of sodium hydroxide will obviously go cloudy and you'll get a metallic precipitate in there that is your metallic silver. Now this is concentrated I'm sorry, concentrated sodium hydroxide, so you don't want to go sticking your fingers in it. But if you fish one out, there you go, get that out. There you go. There's a little bit of film there that's now washed clear of everything. Just, so keep stirring that until all your films are washed clear. And then filter it. And what you'll have in your filter paper is silver. So I'm going to go off and filter that and show you the results. So I've filtered about half of it. And as you can see on your paper, there is your silver. Okay, it's showing up quite nicely there as, oddly enough, the silver looking compound. So there's a really easy way to get silver out of old photographs. Obviously there isn't much of it, but then they don't use much of this stuff. And if you're like me, you've got hundreds and hundreds of these things lying around. Now you don't need to chuck your sodium hydroxide solution away. Just keep reusing it until it um, won't dissolve anymore. And you'll find a whole precipitated silver at the bottom of your cup. Anyway, good luck with that. Let me know how you get on.